Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Veronica, but around here, I'm known as Data Geek. And if you're new to my channel, I teach beginner-friendly projects using Python, Power BI, and Excel. But in today's video, we're using Python using Jupyter Notebook. If you want to follow along using the same code, I will put that link in the description below. Also, if you want to use Jupyter Notebook to code in Python, I will put a link in the description below that has a video on how to download Anaconda Navigator to use Jupyter Notebook. So in today's video, we're going to take the RSI strategy we built earlier in episode two, and we're gonna put it to the test using a method called back testing. This way, it shows us if it would actually have worked in the real world. But first, let's go over the course agenda. We're gonna go over what is back testing and why does it matter? and how to simulate a trading strategy using historical data, how to calculate returns and track performance, and then we're gonna see how to visualize strategy outcomes. So what is backtesting? Backtesting is like a time machine for your trading bot. We use old stock price data to test if our rules would have made smart trades or bad ones. It's the safest way to learn and improve your bot without losing any money. So let's get started into Jupyter Notebook. Grab your cup of coffee and I'll see you inside. Okay, but before we start, just a little disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Always, always do your own research before investing or trading in real money. So let's get started. All right, so here I am in my Jupyter Notebook. So if you have not watched episode two, I suggest you go back and watch episode two because in episode three, we're gonna be back testing our bot that we created in episode two. I will put that video in the description below, but if you feel confident and you wanna go ahead and follow along, I will put the link to this code in the description below as well. In episode three, we're gonna be back testing our bot we created in episode two. So the first step is we're gonna set up and import our libraries. So we imported these same libraries in episode two for math, data, and plotting results. So we did Y Finance, and Y Finance lets us download real stock prices easily from Yahoo Finance. And Pandas helps us organize and work with the stock data in a table format. And NumPy helps us with quick math number calculations and matplotlib is what we use to make charts and graphs to visualize everything we built. So I'm going to go ahead and run this code. And step number two, we're going to download the data plus calculate RSI. So we're going to reuse the RSI calculations from episode two. So we calculate RSI again. This will power our buy and sell signals. So here we're going to call our data set data. We're going to use the Y Finance to download AAPL, which is Apple. And we start our first start date, which is January 1st, 2022. And our end date will be January 1st, 2023. So we're pulling in a year's worth of data. So I will go ahead and run that. So next we do a calculation of RSI. And RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. We create the indicator that tells us when the stock is overbought or oversold. And this delta calculates the difference between each day closing price and the previous day's closing price. And our gain gives us daily price changes. And our loss identifies days with positive price changes, which is our gains, and applies a rolling window of 14 periods to calculate the average loss over these periods. And then the RS gain is basically, it applies a rolling window of 14 periods to calculate the average gain over these periods. And then this here, is adding our RSI to a data frame. So I'm gonna run this code. Now in step three, we now stimulate the bot. When RSI is low, we sell when it's high and we shift the signal forward so the trade happens after the signal appears. So we'll go ahead and run that. And then now in step number four, we are going to do a little bit different. So as you can see, all the way to step three is pretty much the same as what we did in episode two. But in step four, we're gonna calculate the strategy return. So here, instead of creating the buy-sell signals as we did in episode two, 
In this step, we will now create returns such as market return and strategy return. So what is market return? A market return is on how much the stock moved and a strategy return is how much our bot would gain or lose based on its position. This is where I'm gonna write up some code and we will put data bracket, single quotation, market return, single quotation, close that with the bracket, equals data, open bracket, single quotation, close, close bracket, dot PCT underscore change, open and close parentheses, and then data, open bracket, single quotation, strategy return, close bracket, whoops, single quotation, then a close bracket, equals data, open bracket, market return, close bracket, times data, position, and I will run this code successfully ran. So now in step five, we will visualize our results. So we're going to plot strategy versus market. And I will go ahead and add a cell under here. All right, so it'll be open parentheses one space plus space data. Then you want to put two open brackets, single quotation, it's going to be market return. single quotation, comma, single quotation, strategy return, single quotation, now we're going to close both of those brackets and then close with the parentheses, dot, C-U-M-P-R-O-D, open and close parentheses, dot, P-L-O-T, open parentheses, F-I-G-S-I-Z-E, fig size equals, open parentheses, 12 comma six, and then two close parentheses. Next, you're gonna do a title, so plt dot title, and we want to call this strategy performance versus market. And then now we create our X label and our Y label. And then we'll plot our grid. And now we'll plot show. And we will run this code. And here we go. So now we have our visual graph. So explaining this graph, this graph shows how well our RSI trading bot performed compared to the overall stock market. So the blue line here is what would have happened if we just bought it and held it, hold on to it without selling it. That's called the market return. So that's what this blue line is. So the orange line shows the strategy return. So that's the result of our bot using this RSI to decide when to buy or stay out of the market. If the orange line is higher than the blue line, it means our strategy did better than just holding the stock. And if it's lower, then our bot didn't perform well. In case it tells us we may need to tweak or test a different strategy. So this is why back testing is so powerful. It shows us if our trading rules are actually profitable before risking real money. So basically two lines equals two approaches. Market return, buy and hold. And strategy return is your strategy's bot's logic. And if we compare both lines over time, this helps answer, is our bot better than nothing? So that is it. You now officially know how to backtest a trading bot in Python. Congratulations. If you learned something new today, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that 
little bell so you don't miss episode four coming up where we'll continue building smarter bots without needing a PhD. <laughs> also, the links are in the description below. Go check them out. And hey, if you feel like buying me a coffee to fuel more late night tutorials, I love you forever. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.